Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. And if you're new to Unicorn Dust Designs, hi, my name is Sammy. On this channel, we do Dollar Tree DIYs with signs, and I can always guarantee some kind of laughter on this channel. I cannot wait to show you these DIYs, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So for this one, we're going to start off with some stencils and the um, caulking or spackling, whatever you want to call it. These stencils came in a huge pack on Amazon and they were so inexpensive. I'll leave it in my Amazon store. So first I'm going to take my piece of wood and I am going to tape my stencil down. We do not want this moving around on us. I am going to take this, what do you call it? Spatula thing in jigger. <laughs> I got a three pack at Dollar Tree and I am going to smooth the spackle over this. Now these stencils were great because they were thick enough where they, the stencil wasn't like bending and moving around on me. You do want to make sure that you coat enough of it so that you don't see like the stencil outline under it. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. So you could see how I'm just smoothing the spackle over my stencil and you cannot see the outline of my stencil anywhere. Now, while this is still wet, you're gonna slowly peel your stencil up. So you can see right here, I'm gonna slowly do that. And you can see your image, it looks absolutely beautiful. You're gonna let that leave, it needs to completely harden up. These stencils and your tools, you can simply run under warm water and they will be good as new again. I did do a second one as well and this was just so satisfying, I thought I'd show you. Look at this sunflower. And then I'm gonna do two different painting, um, not techniques, but two different ways of doing this sign. So the piggy one, I am going to paint in all black chalk paint. I'm using my chippy brush so I can make sure to get into all those nooks and crannies of the spackle. Once that dries, you guys guessed it, I'm gonna grab my white DIY wax and I'm gonna lightly brush it over and you are going to see this little pig come to life. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? Even farm life came out so crisp. I love it. And these are gonna be so easy to make as gifts. If you have a booth, these are easy sellers on your booth, in your booth as well. And I love, love, love this. For the sunflower, we're gonna go a little differently. I'm gonna take, I think this is called uh, Sandstorm or something by Waverly was the base color. Now I am doing like a paint, painting, paint by number, paint by line. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, this actually, you guys, would be a great project for kids. Um, it'll help them stay inside the lines. You could do like a paint by number with this. Even making this would be so much fun for a child to get involved in. Um, and then I am taking, I think this was moon, moon yellow by Folk Art and I am just going inside those petals. So you can see a couple different looks you can do with the stencils. And you can do this with any stencils. It just has to be thick enough for the spackle to go over without bending. So you can see how beautiful the details are. This pig I'm obsessed with. I cannot wait to make more like this with the wax because it's absolutely stunning. Comment down below with a little flower if you're gonna do this too. As you can see, today we are playing around with some caulking, or if you wanna call it spackle, whatever it may be, which you could get at Dollar Tree, you could get it at Home Depot, you might already have some on hand. And I just wanted to show you a few ways that you can use them while you're crafting. So I hope you guys enjoy these projects and you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging this channel, then make sure you like and make sure you subscribe. <laughs> make sure to also check the links down in the description box because I have a TikTok, Instagram. We have a Facebook group as well. Make sure to answer the three questions. And you guys, with that said, let's go ahead and get back into the rest of these DIYs. Now this next one I wanted to show you how you can take a Dollar Tree sign or their wood pieces and add texture to bring it up to a high-end look. So I am taking, again, the spackle, this, why am I, 
spatula thingy and I'm smoothing this over my wood piece. Now, your objective at first is just to cover the entire thing with this spackle. You're not doing anything fancy. You just want full coverage. Of course, I have to start like getting all into details and stuff, but you don't have to do that. We're just working on covering the entire thing. So once we cover the entire piece, now you could do this with like a Dollar Tree Christmas tree, an Easter egg, so many options with this. Now I'm gonna get into detailing it. So you can see how I'm going in the middle and I'm like carving out my pumpkin now. And you would do this like if you're doing a Christmas tree, you could add texture to the leaves, things like that. I'm gonna go around the, um, I, well, I go on the stem, make some lines, then I'm gonna go over to the sides and you can see how like that's already coming to life. Now, after, that I made sure to put some lines over on the stem so that the stem looks more real. Once it dries, this is what it looks like. Tons of texture on here. I'm gonna take Skeleton Key by DIY Paint and I am going to coat that, making sure that I don't get the stem of my pumpkin. And you can already see all of that texture in this piece, which is amazing. And then I'm going to get the stem and look at all of that. It just, it looks so good. Um, and I am going to paint the stem. After we're done with that, I'm going to, of course, grab my wax and I am gonna dust that over so all of our texture pops out. Now this, I didn't do anything with this, you know, like make it into a sign or anything. How, oh, and I didn't even show you guys the, the DIY wax, but you know, here it is. Um, but this would look good on like a sign with some wording on it, but you can see how it took it from a wood piece to beautiful. All right, another way to use spackle is on canvas. You can do canvas art with it. You can do abstract art by literally just smearing it all over and letting it harden up, or you can do designs. So that's what I'm going to do here. So. I am smoothing out my spack spackle. Of course, you want a good amount on here, okay? And then I'm going to take, um, while it is still wet, I'm gonna take, look at how, I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can here. Then I'm going to take this, I don't even know where I got this, and I'm gonna create a rainbow. Now this is my vibe, it might not be yours. The objective of this video is just to show you guys the possibilities of what you can do with this, you know, crafting medium, I'll say. So now I'm taking cashew and I'm gonna paint the entire thing um, with this. Once we are done painting with this base color, then we're gonna go add more color. So I'm not a pro whatsoever, you guys. I try things, like this was my first time trying this except for the stencils. So give me grace, we're all here for inspiration, right? So now I'm taking Truffle by Waverly. Every three lines, I'm gonna do a different color. You can also, you guys, like draw in pumpkins on this. You can do a stencil on canvas. So there's tons of options you can do with the canvas. Then this is Hazelnut. I wish that was like a perfect little curve there, but it ain't. All right, and then I'm just, I found these paper flowers with gold. I thought they went with my whole fall vibe little boho rainbow so i'm gonna hot glue those to the end here and then we are going to call this wrap and this actually started growing on me a lot at first i was like i don't know if i like it sorry this video is like totally in slow-mo but i really like it i think it's so cute i am gonna put it in my booth with some like boho coffee mugs and some boho shirts that i made for fall and i think it'll look so super cute. All right, you guys, this next, next project, I can't wait to show you because it was a complete fail. So, uh, hold on, baby needs me. I'm back. Okay. 
So we're taking spackle. This is the same stuff as Dollar Tree, you guys. I just ran out of it. I only had two tubes. Um, but I am taking this little flower pot from Dollar General and I am going to cover the entire thing. Now you want to put a pretty thick amount. Why, why are you guys even listening to me? I failed at this, but <laughs> maybe somebody else will tell me what I did wrong. So you're going to put a thick amount on this and you'll see why you're going to get the bottom of like a paintbrush or something. And we're going to put like divots in it, little circles, I guess you could say, I will say this, I would suggest leaving it set for about like an hour. That way the spackle kind of hardens up, but it's still soft enough for you to make these little dents in it. Um, because you can see like, as I was doing it, it goes down and you can completely see like the actual pot itself, the blue color. And you can see right here how it looks. So what I was going for y'all is a hammered like copper pot look. So I took my Rust-Oleum hammered and I sprayed it. Well, the, the spackle was absorbing this stuff. And then because I couldn't get my spackle smooth enough, you could see all that texture, all that cracking. And needless to say, I saw this on Pinterest, you guys. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to try that. Needless to say, mine did not look anything like the Pinterest picture did. So this is how it came out. I thought I would throw it in there because I feel like we all have some fails while grafting. And this was one of my, it doesn't look as bad in the picture, but it looks pretty bad in person. Like the texture, you could see through all of the holes. You could see like the dark blue. Oh my word. Anyways, you guys, thank you for joining me for this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration as to just different mediums you can use while crafting. The stencil one is by far my favorite. If you take away anything from this video, I hope it's that. Have a good day. Not yours. That's the babies. Give it back. No, no, girlfriend.